What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are doing a series that we bring or that we're bringing back from last off season. Now, I think I had actually on my old channel. So, if you guys are new to this and you don't know that I had a dose of Ian, dose of Dion channel that wasn't 2.0, that this is 2.0 because I lost the other one. We started this series over there, so we're gonna continue this over here um, for this season. And basically, what I want to do is take upcoming free agents and decide whether or not we should keep them or cut them. I know the Lions will decide it by themselves. Obviously, we have no effect on that. But this was a series we started last time. I think it was fun. I don't know how many players we did through. I don't think we went through the whole thing, but I want to go through the whole thing if the support is there. So if you like this, please click the like button, you know, or comment below, hey, I like this. Do both if you want to subscribe. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But, you know, that, that shows me that you guys want to see more. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep this coming. So we'll go player by player. Um, some players we're not going to do because there's just no point, like, Come on, like some of these are obvious. Okay, yeah, he's not getting back on the squad. But we're gonna start this thing off with a bang. We're gonna start off with Danny and Mandola. Okay, let's get it started. Danny Amendola, the wide receiver for the Detroit Lions last season, who is an older wide receiver that we brought in as that veteran experience. And I didn't think he was expected to play that much because we did have Jermaine Curse. And when you pair Jermaine Curse uh, with Danny, with um, Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay, you know, Danny Amendola could have played the slot. He could have also been the fourth guy. You know, you had a lot of weapons. TJ Hackers and Jesse James. You had a lot of weapons going into the season, but then Jermaine Curse got hurt. And then Danny Amendola was a huge part of this offense. The tight ends were not a big part of this offense after week one. Amendola was huge. He was really one of our go-to guys one of our most reliable targets and he proved that yeah he, he kind of does deserve another contract now the age is what everybody's gonna look at this dude's 34 years old or he's gonna be 34 he's an old man okay let's just say like not young he's not a young player but at the same time he's getting it done i mean if i look at last season and i see he, like he's digressing and he's getting worse then i could see making the case say okay well he's getting older time to move on but when you see his numbers and that last season was one of the best seasons of his career it's kind of hard to say, yeah, he's too old. Because, I mean, if he's still balling, he's still balling, right? It is what it is. I don't care how old you are. You can be 80. As long as you're balling, you're balling. It'd be kind of weird to see an 80-year-old man out there. But if you're balling, you're doing it. Now, last season, I believe it was a $4.5 million contract for one year. Um, you know, it was 4.25 with the base. And then I believe the signing bonus and everything. made, up, made it, it just rounded up to 4.5. Okay, just rounded up to 4.5. Half. 4.5 half million last season. So this upcoming year, um, I've made the case that I think we should sign him for another one-year deal. Maybe like 4 to 4.5 million once again. Some around that same range uh, near the same price I don't see a reason why you would let this man go I have no idea why you do that there's just too much production I mean I understand you want to go with a young guy and I'm down with drafting a wide receiver to maybe replace a guy like Marvin Jones or even Amadola in the future because yeah you can go draft a slot if you want if you don't think Marvin Hall Jr. Deep Ball Hall is the next slot then go get a you know go get go get a slot wide receiver and he can be the next one but for right now even if he's not your slot or if he's just your fourth wide receiver even if he doesn't get that many attempts next season i feel like you got to bring danny amendola back i mean the numbers don't lie y'all let come on man this is one of his best seasons 62 receptions 678 receiving yards 678 receiving yards that's really really good i'm just saying that's really good 10.9 yards per reception, which is basically a first down every time he caught the ball, as long as 47 yards, and he also had uh, one touchdown. He was just Mr. Reliable. He had some really big games, but every game he did something. Like, you can look across the board at his stats. He had one single game where he didn't have a reception. One game, and he did nothing in that game, obviously, because he didn't have a reception. But, I mean, he was just outstanding the entire year. Three games with eight, eight or more receptions. He was just really good for us, and I don't see any reason why you wouldn't bring him back, especially if you don't have to pay him a lot. It wouldn't be a big deal. I'd go one year because of his age. Um, it does have a little bit of factor. I understand that, yes, his production is there, but it has a little bit of factor point. You're not going to give him a four-year deal. But one year, four to 4.5 mil, even less if you can, I'm good with it. He, he deserves the money. He played for the money, and uh, he balled out. And, you know, I don't feel like it's right to get rid of Vlad players even if they're older i don't think that makes sense you know he got the job done bring him back reward him with a contract i understand bringing in young guys you know that are unproven you're hoping they can become something but you know what danny amendola is i felt like he was a great security blanket for stafford stafford loved going to him and he caught a lot of big time catches he had a lot of big time grabs my favorite one was when we threw it out of bounds he just whopped that one out of the air now he hurt himself because he's danny amendola he's five foot eleven like he should not be doing that at 34 years old but he caught the football so Danny Mandola, you're getting back to the team. We are keeping you. That is my final decision. Danny Mandola is a keeper. Let me know your thoughts, comments below, and who do you guys want me to see me do next? There's about 17 of these guys. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.